Hey everybody, what's up? It's Jesse here from Pickle Madness. Today we're going to be checking out Six Zero's newest paddle and one of the most anticipated drops ever, the Ruby 14 millimeter. Now, if you have a 16 millimeter Ruby, or if you just happen to know what the 16 millimeter Ruby looks like, you might be wondering what are the differences because this looks exactly the same as the 16 millimeter in terms of aesthetics. However, if you look really closely, you are going to see next to the word Ruby, it says RK 14 millimeter instead of RK 16 millimeter. It's hard to tell on video, but if you have a Ruby 14 millimeter in your hand with a 16 millimeter, you will see the slight difference in core thickness. That's where the main difference is. The 16 millimeter is of course 16 millimeters thick in the core, while the 14 millimeter is 14. So what does that difference in core thickness translate to on the core? First of all, as is the case with most 14 millimeter paddles, they're going to have more pop than the 16 millimeter paddles. So if you like the Ruby, but you wish it had a little more pop, well the Ruby 14 millimeter is here to add a little bit more of that pop to your game. It's also slightly more powerful, though keep in mind the Ruby in general is not a power paddle. It's more of an all-court paddle that leans towards control, whereas the Ruby 14 is just a slightly more powerful, popular version of that. With the Kevlar already being a little softer than most carbon fiber. Now, of course, the Ruby in both 14 and the 16 millimeter versions has a Kevlar face. This red face is not carbon fiber, it is Kevlar. Kevlar is of course the same thing that many bulletproof vests are made of, helmets and other objects that need to have shock absorbing power. So from a carbon fiber paddle to a Kevlar paddle, the Kevlar is going to be a little softer. That had some people complain about the 16 millimeter Ruby, even though it was one of Six Zero's most popular paddles, many users really wished they had a little bit more power and the 14 delivers that. No player should have any problem getting enough power on their serves, on their drives, or putaways with the Ruby 14. Now then you might be wondering, well, if I'm going to get more power and pop, then what am I sacrificing from the 16 to the 14? Yes, you are gonna have a little less control with the 14, as is the case with all 14 millimeter paddles. Basically, the thinner the core, the less control you're going to have with more power and pop. So in this case, you're gonna have a little less control. However, as I said earlier, the Kevlar is already softer than carbon fiber. So you already have a control advantage over someone playing with a 14 millimeter carbon fiber paddle if you are using the Ruby 14 with this Kevlar face. You're definitely not gonna have any issues popping up dinks or popping up third shot drops too much with this paddle. Of course, if you are a 16 millimeter user, you're gonna wanna dial it a little back when doing those shots, but really the transition should come pretty naturally. Six zero paddles are known for having incredible spin, the Ruby in particular, and the 14 millimeter Ruby is no different. In fact, I think that the Ruby 14 millimeter has even better spin potential than the 16. And I don't know if they're doing something different with the peel fly on the surface or what it is, but it really does seem to have better consistent spin. The Ruby is also just a really, really nice looking paddle. Six Zero does a really, really great job of making amazing looking paddles. But in this case, the red on white looks really striking in a great way. And I think the majority of people would agree. The Six Zero Ruby has, in my opinion, become an icon for Kevlar paddles. This was not the first Kevlar paddle ever made, but I do think it is one of the best, if not the best. So types of players I would recommend this paddle to, I would say of course people who love the 16 millimeter Ruby, but maybe want a little more pop and power. People who like a hybrid shape with a low swing weight, and also players who want a paddle that is 14 millimeters with more control than most typical 14 millimeter paddles. Thank you for watching the Pickle Madness review of the Ruby 14 millimeter. As always, you can check the link in the description below for a discount code 10% off at picklemadness.com if you'd like to order a Ruby 14. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.